This has become a familiar sight on the streets of Bujumbura. Motorists spend much of their time queuing for fuel. Habimana Marie says it's taken her four hours to get her tank filled. It's a big problem because we're often late for work. It completely disrupts our days. Some economists say the country is running low on foreign currency that's needed for imports like fuel and medicines. Many Burundians say they are frustrated. This has been going on for weeks now, but it's not the first time they're experiencing a shortage of fuel, neither is it the first time that the government is facing a shortage of foreign currency. Some tell us it all goes back to 2015 when there was a political crisis. Former President Pierre Nkurunziza's decision to run for a controversial third term six years ago sparked political unrest. More than 1,000 people were killed and many displaced. Donors like the European Union and the U.S. withdrew government funding and sanctions they imposed on the country are yet to be lifted. The pandemic and a closure of foreign exchange bureaus by the central bank in 2020 made the situation worse. The cost of the COVID-19 test. To cross the border, you have to be tested for 30 USD. Uh, to mean that for uh, a small trader, it, it's too much. The movement of uh, traders between DRC and Burundi remains slow, despite the border has been reopened. It represents a big amount of, uh, of money in terms of uh, foreign currency when uh, those small traders are crossing daily. Horichu Bonye Donacio imports goods from Asia, Europe and neighboring countries. He says he's struggling to stay afloat. There's no money in circulation. We need to import things from Asia and other neighboring countries. To buy those goods, you have to have foreign currency. If we don't, that means there's a big problem. He tells us he hopes sanctions will soon be lifted and border crossings fully reopened because without that, the economy can't start growing again. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Bujumbura.